Welcome to San Diego Market Movers. My name is Valley, and we are back with John Lieber in the building once again. Valley, it's good to be here. Thank you. One of the prerequisites of being on our show is being a producing agent. And so what I'm noticing a trend wise is it seems like the same agents are producing still high number of volume of units and selling a lot of homes. And then a lot of people are falling off. What's the difference? Why are some producing and some aren't? Well, I think this, the, the easy answer to that question is there's only maybe half the homes for sale. So it's the same number of licensed agents and they're all fighting over, over a lot smaller pot of homes. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, it just interestingly enough, like whenever I put a listing on right now, I used to not, you, you get an open house request from another agent every once in a while. I get just 10 plus calls from agents and escrow and title and everyone I think is so hungry for business right now because there's really not enough to go around. Mm -hmm. um, so I think what we're what we're seeing is probably a good thing for for our industry where there's I mean realistically too many agents out there. Um, I think the ones that you know like 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 me and you know there's certainly plenty of good agents out there, but the ones that that market well that are in contact with their clients, that are doing, you know, running the business how they should and producing for their clients when mm -hmm. they sell or buy. Those are the ones that are still doing business. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the other ones, if you're if you're not putting much of an effort in, I think you are probably really struggling to get any mm -hmm. business at all. Yeah, because for a while there, it was kind of like fishing with dynamite. You could just show yeah. up and a, and a deal came your way, but now you have to actually earn it. Yeah, and uh, I think it's, it's a good thing. It's it's kept me on my game where I'm um, just making sure that w whatever I'm doing in, in terms of, of marketing myself, marketing my clients' properties, um, um, just making sure that my plan is really mm -hmm. is really you know systematized and, and run really really well right now because um, you know I, I want the business. I want to represent my clients well, and I want to make sure that. You know that I'm never one of the ones that's that's falling by the wayside because I'm not producing. I can never see that out of you. I know that you do the work that other people aren't willing to do, and that's kind of what you've been around in this business for a long time, and it's because you've had you're structured, you're consistent, you're knowledgeable, and you've you know just stick to, stuck to the plan. It's it's kind of my uh, my professional golf background where oh, yeah. I used to you know I. I worked on my own a lot with my coaches and I would have my practice plan and I would just execute on that. So I'm, I'm used to just following that yeah. that plan and sticking to it and being disciplined about it. But so it's, it's just kind of- They kinda, say like you practice how you play or you play yeah, how you practice. Yeah, totally, <laughs> you know totally. I mean? That's awesome. All right, well, thank you so much for sharing your insight and come back next week. Thanks, good okay. question. Thanks guys.